Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Eben with a WBZ News Update. Our top stories, a new ruling from the state's highest court. People charged with murder can no longer avoid a conviction by citing infidelity. The Supreme Judicial Court voted unanimously on the decision yesterday, saying that a man cannot get away with killing a woman because she was unfaithful. The court's ruling left in place two first-degree murder convictions for Peter Ronke, who stabbed his pregnant girlfriend to death back in 2009. She was nine months pregnant at the time and had told him the child was not his. During trial, Ronke requested that his conviction be reduced to manslaughter because he believed he was provoked. Ronke is currently serving two life sentences without the possibility of parole. The court says moving forward, it will no longer recognize infidelity as a reasonable excuse to kill a spouse. The MBTA is performing work in March that could impact your ride. Redline service between Harvard and JFK UMass stations will be replaced with shuttle buses. This starts on March 4th, 5th, 25th and 26th. Now the T is working on a new digital signal system. On the Green Line, shuttle buses will replace service between North Station and Government Center for March 11th and 12th. That is for demolition work on the Government Center garage. And from March 6th through the 9th, shuttles will replace the Mattapan line of the commuter rail so the T can remove a staircase at the Milton Station. We have a full list of all these changes to the MBTA on CBSBoston.com. The Patriots just announced ticket prices are going up for the first time since 2008. But the team is also making parking at Gillette more affordable. The team announced the changes in a letter to season ticket holders. Parking in stadium-owned lots across Route 1 will now be free. The Patriots are now also introducing a lot where the team will pay you to park there. You can't leave until 75 minutes after the game ends, but you will receive a $50 Visa gift card. And for those who park in the lots closest to the stadium, well, that'll cost you $25 a game. Let's get a check of the forecast now for a warm-up with meteorologist Sarah Robleski. Sarah? Well, no surprise, we've had well above average temperatures pretty much through much of the winter. In fact, this is tied for the fourth warmest winter to date as our average temperature of about 36.8 degrees. Just impressive. Of course, we've also not seen much snow and it's really one of the least snowiest to dates as well with only about 7.9 inches of snow for the winter season. That's eighth place currently and well, we're tracking rain on the way. So what we've got is a change in the air mass as milder air works in today through the week and that's ahead of a cold front that will be coming on through. So we had a few raindrops earlier on today, but now we're going to be uh, watching for sunshine this afternoon. Starting off dry on Thursday, then a batch of showers comes through Thursday night before a cold front comes through on Friday and that will bring in some cooler air as we head into the start of the weekend. So highs today climbing into the mid to upper 50s. Winds out of the south may keep it just a little bit cooler for the south coast Cape and Highlands, but uh, islands. But what we'll be watching for is the potential for records. Uh, I think we may fall just short. As for tonight, we're going to be looking at temperatures only in the 40s to near 50, partly cloudy, pretty mild out there. And that mild air is a start to the day tomorrow, helping our temperatures climb through the 50s into the low to middle 60s. Now you'll notice clouds will be increasing for the second half of the day. Sure enough, we've got the risk of some rain heading our way as we get towards the evening hour. So the forecast high for Thursday is 65 degrees. The record is 60 set back in 1910. And we're also going to be watching for that potential of breaking in record in Worcester as well. And many spots will see temperatures well above average upper 50s, mid 60s. 60s. Again, a little bit cooler for the immediate coast with that wind off of the water. Timing out the risk of rain dry through midday, although the clouds increase, it'll be by the evening. We'll start to see a batch of showers come on through. We get a bit of a lull overnight Thursday, although can't rule out a spot shower. And then by Friday morning, we're seeing more rain showers coming on in still a gusty breeze. So temperatures will be very mild. But as this front pushes on through Friday midday into the afternoon, we'll watch for that risk of rain to finally push off of the coast. We do drop in temperatures, but look at that 40 degrees. That's still normal for this time of year. 
and it doesn't last long. We're back into the 50s for Sunday and into Monday. So a sneak peek at your holiday weekend forecast starting off sunny and dry on Saturday, turning mild again on Sunday and then by Monday mid 50s. But unfortunately we do bring in the risk of some showers. Big ski weekend. It's going to feel more like spring than winter though with temperatures in the 40s and 50s across southern New England. As for northern New England looking a little better, especially for the start. But again, we'll have to watch for the risk of those showers on Monday. As we go forward, taking a look at the next seven days does look as though we'll bring in that chance of some showers on Tuesday and thereafter we could see some cooler air and more unsettled weather moving in by the second half of the week. There's latest look. Catch your forecast. Thank you, Sarah. I'm Paula Evan. This has been a WBZ News Update.